Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jake Quinzel. It's time for another toy hunt, but a different type of toy hunt. We're going to El Segundo. We're going to the Mattel store headquarters. We're going to check it out and see what they have for Jurassic. Now, I did make a mistake in going and filming this. I forgot my microphone. This little guy, I forgot it at home, and I did not have anything to record audio with. Uh, clearly when I was there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna record over the video and just add some music in the background. So we're gonna hunt Jurassic. We're looking for Yaz. We're looking for Kenji. We're looking for Darius. I was told by a uh, follower, a subscriber of this channel, I will include your name right here because your name is long and I do not know it off the top of my head. I will also include it at the end of the video just to give you the credit. They told me that these uh, figures I'm seeking could be found at the Mattel store in El Segundo. I live nearby, it wasn't that far, so I went and it was a lot of fun. It's a short video. Uh, I didn't film that much. I just went straight for the Jurassic aisle, videotape all the Jurassic, took a quick once over the store. I didn't go to every aisle. I just stuck to a Jurassic, but please stay tuned. Cause at the end, I talk about the giveaway, the giveaway that I've been talking about forever. The one I said I was gonna have for 200 subscribers and then it shot up to 300 subscribers and then it shot up to 400 subscribers. I'm finally gonna have the giveaway. So I'm very excited to announce that and that's at the end of the video. So please stay tuned for that. Now let's get into that toy hunt. Oh yeah. All right, so here we are outside of the Mattel store. This is outside of the headquarters, actually, not the store itself. Huge building, goes up for stories. The lobby was closed, unfortunately. But here's the store itself. The store itself is also huge. It's well stocked. If you're looking for Mattel, if anything Mattel, anything Mattel, you're gonna find it at this store. The person that recommended me to come to this store was not kidding when they said, I will find Jurassic here, just wait. So first off, I gotta, I gotta point this out. Every time I go to the store, I see this thing and I always say, I wanna get it, but I'm not going to. Here's the Jurassic aisle. We got Crushivores. It was nice to see the Crushivores. I was tempted to buy some, but I decided to save my money. Uh, for there's some greater things coming later on, like the 93 Classic Collection and all that. So I decided not to get any Crushivores, even though these are Series 2. If I do uh, go towards the end of the, end of the month, uh, back to the Mattel store, I'll look for them, probably. And then we got those uh, Transformer dinosaur things. They're pretty ugly. I didn't buy any of them. I only bought the ones that turn into eggs, but not, not the ones that turn into other dinosaurs, no. And then we got these T-Rex masks. I bought this mask for Halloween. I, uh, I thought it looked really cool. And then we got this uh, RC T-Rex. That's pretty expensive, though. Now we're getting to Chaos Theory, but before that, let's take a look at the mask, the Uno cards. I have a new Uno card set. They have a lot of masks here, a great selection of masks. I mean, wow, I, I haven't seen some of these before. I've seen this one with the light before, though. And now we're gonna look at the Chaos Theory stuff. Right away, I see Kenji with a sticky mullock. I do pick up this set. Um, I It looks like I set it down and forget about it, but no, I actually pick up this set. It comes with a cast, the gun, the med kit, and Kenji looks so cool. Next up we have Yaz with a Monolophosaurus, come with an injured baby, a backpack, and Yaz. And Yaz also looks awesome. These are great figures. Unfortunately I was not able to find Darius. Darius was absent. I think I showed up too late. But moving on, we got some more of these Transformer figures. Um, eh, they're not my thing. The Giganotosaurus, I have this one. Um, yeah, then we go to the Therizinosaurus, also have that one. Mosasaurus is beautiful. I'm moving a little very fast right now. And then, uh, Herosaurus, some T-Rex. I love the paint job on that T-Rex, by the way. This desert color T-Rex. The Indoraptor always have this metallic colors, it's really cool. 
Uh, next we have the Indominus Rex. Uh, the, that's a camouflage one, which I really like the way it, uh, it glows when you press the button. And then we have some common figures. These were actually half off. I think, uh, I can't recall. I think they were like five bucks, ten bucks. Um, I didn't get any though. Um, then we got to get a look at the Imagine Next. Yes, I like to look at the Imagine Next. I buy them every once in a while, not that often. But I do like that they have the glass eyes, so they kind of follow you uh, when you look at them. You look at the uh, Indominus Rex and it follows you. But uh, yeah, I don't know about the Pteranodon. The Pteranodon looks weird. I don't know what to deal with that Pteranodon. It, it just doesn't look like a Jurassic animal. Actually, this set looks weird. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, this are the Imagine Eggs. Decided to go through them all. They have quite a selection. Uh, the Indoor Raptor, a lot of this Pyro Raptor one. A lot of them. I don't know what this is. And then we got this big T Rex thing. Alright, that's the end of the toy hunt. <laughs> Well, that was some hunt, wasn't it? This was my first time going to uh, the Mattel store, and I would like to thank uh, the follow the commenter who uh, mentioned the Mattel store in El Segundo. Uh, I will put your name on the screen because your name is very long, and I can't recall it off the top of my head. But as you saw, I found Yaz, and I found Kenji. Unfortunately, I think I was a little too late for Darius. Uh, I went a little bit later during the day, but still, I managed to find these two, starting with Yaz in the Monolophosaurus. She looks incredibly cool, and looking at the back, here she is. She comes with a baby dinosaur and a backpack to carry said baby dinosaur, and the Monolophosaurus kind of stalks it around. It's so cute. Oh, and a baby dinosaur has a cone around his neck. Isn't that adorable? Here is a Monolophosaurus itself. Very simple figure. I think it was first featured in Camp Cretaceous. I'm not sure though. Could have been featured in some other movie and I just forgot. But as far as I can recall, the Monolophosaurus comes from uh, Camp Cretaceous. And here's a DNA tag that comes with it. And here is Yaz. I put on the backpack, put the little dino in the back. I wanna show you the little baby dino in a little bit. I don't know what the little baby dino is from. I saw Chaos Theory once through and I don't recall the little baby injured dino. Um, I'm not sure if I wasn't paying attention and I missed it or it just not something featured in the show. But here it is, the cutiness of it all, the little, what is it? I want to say it's, uh, I don't know what it is. Anybody got a guess to what kind of dinosaur this little baby dino is? The one with the cast on his foot and the cone around his neck? Please let me know in the comments below. I would like to know. Next up, we got ourselves Kenji. Kenji with the sticky malak. He comes with a tranquilizer gun, a cast, and a med kit. Oh, I didn't mention, these are from the Epic Evolution line. I don't know if that's important, but some people like to know what lines uh, these pertain to. And there's Kenji, yes, healing a dinosaur. Here is the Stiggy Malak. This one is a cool one. I like the coloring on it, kind of natural looking. Does the jaw open? The jaw does not open. Okay, so kind of natural looking, just simple figure cute looking and here is a DNA tag for you to take a look at there it is Stiggy Malak it's a fun word to say and here is Kenji with the med kit and tranquilizer gun looking all bad that's cool looking right there and it has a little cuff there that attaches where did I put the Stiggy oh I forgot to show you that the Stiggy is now injured it has a cast on this leg and kenji comes along with the med kit puts on the cuff here and can then uh i don't know take uh the i don't know the pulse or whatever so those were the figures i picked up at a mattel store i was very happy to find 
Kenji, and Yaz. Unfortunately, again, I think I showed up too late for Darius. So the hunt is still on. I'm still going to go to different stores. I might return to the Mattel store in a couple weeks or a week from now or two. I don't know. I'm still deciding how long I should wait. But now let's get to the part that you all have been eagerly waiting for for over 200 subscribers. Um, I was going to have this giveaway when I reach 200 subscribers. I was going to do that. And I have had some items picked out. There was just some mini school items. There was a coloring book, some mini figures, and a uh, Funko Soda. Then I hit 300 subscribers. I'm like, oh my God, I got to get something else bigger for the giveaway because I hit a bigger milestone. Then I hit 400 subscribers. And I was just like, you know what? I'm doing Chaos Theory hunts. I can't give away this uh, older stuff anymore. I have to get something new, something uh, enticing. So I decided to go out and pick up a Chaos Theory toy. I picked up my favorite dinosaur uh, from uh, Camp Cretaceous and Chaos Theory, the Parasaurolophus. I just love this figure for the bioluminescence. I love the figure for the sound. I think it looks amazing. This is an incredible figure. Here is the DNA tag up close. I picked this up at uh, the Mattel store. And I decided to make this one, one of the prizes for the giveaway. Because I have hit uh, three milestones in such a short period of time, I'm also including a Dr. Alan Grant Funko Soda 12,000 pieces. It's sealed brand new. When I bought this soda, it came from a case of six. It was a complete case. I bought three of them. So you have about, uh, I don't know, one out of, I don't know how many. I'm not good with statistics. I'm sorry. I took statistics. I passed. But then I, I completely purged all of that from my mind. Anyways, what I'm saying is you got a pretty good chance of finding the chase because I opened one. And I got a comment, so that's one less. That means there's five cans, one chase. So there you go. Lastly, because I enjoy coloring so much, I thought other people might enjoy coloring as well. I am going to include this Jurassic World, the official coloring book. I have a copy for myself, and I completely love this book. I'm currently coloring an image from this, uh, this book on my tablet, and... I think this is just an incredible book for like fans of the movies. Uh, I think it covers the trilogy. Um, but yeah, this is good for adults, children. I think uh, it's just a really cool book. So this is included in the price bag. I'm trying to find the page I'm coloring. Where is it? Huh? Oh, well, whatever. One more time. Nope. Okay. Anyways, that is is what I have going for prizes. I have the coloring book, Dr. Alan Graham Funko Soda, and the Parasaur all of this. And these are the way, or this is the way you enter the giveaway. I'm gonna be a little selfish, okay? I have an Instagram account. Uh, it's a Jurassic Focus Instagram account. I'm trying to get my, uh, both accounts to kind of sync up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my Instagram account as part of the giveaway what i'm saying is in order to win these prizes these three prizes what you have to do you have to subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet i highly suggest you do because i got many more toy hunts coming up even if i'm not buying anything i'm gonna keep going out and see what's new and you have to follow me on instagram i'm gonna put it on the screen right here what my uh, instagram username is and then I'm going to include a link in my, the description. Uh, you got to follow me on that Instagram. What I Then what else you got to do? You got to comment on this video, your Instagram um, username. That way, when I enter uh, all these comments into a randomizer, the, the winning comment, I will send you a message on Instagram. That way you can send me your information and I can send you all three of these prizes. All right, that was a mouthful. I know that was a mouthful. I know that's convoluted, 
but I really want to get some traffic to my Instagram. Uh, I want to, I want to kind of like get out there in the Jurassic world, kind of get my name out there in the Jurassic world. Cause I'm a big fan of Jurassic. I love Jurassic. I love Jurassic fans and I love seeing Jurassic creativity and I, I like expressing myself on Instagram. I also have a Tumblr, but that's not, that's a whole different thing. What I'm saying right now, if you want to win these prizes, if you want to win these prizes, remember, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and then comment on this video, your Instagram username, and then I will message you if you win. Simple as pie. I would like to thank each and every one of you that has tuned in during these, uh, I don't know, these weeks. Uh, I really am grateful for the attention and, and, and audience that you brought to my channel and the positive feedback that you've been giving me tells me that I'm doing something right. And that makes me so happy as a Jurassic fan because basically as a Jurassic fan, I just want to create to give. I want to share. I want to share. That's why I write my fan fictions, my Jurassic Park fan fictions. I write them to share because I want people to read them just so that they can have fun. I write screenplay, Jurassic Park screenplays, because I want people to read movies that could be made in some far off dimension. But I'm digressing again. I thank you all very, very much. I'm sorry this giveaway took so long to happen. It would just, it all happened so fast. I went from 200 subscribers to 300 to 400 that I just uh, couldn't catch up. I'm gonna try to be on it next time when I hit 500 subscribers. I'll try to have another prize. It won't be as big as this prize because um, this prize is accumulation of all those subscriptions. But I do have another Funko Soda from the same case and I will look for something fun for next time's giveaway. Remember, 500 subscribers, get me there. Another giveaway. Thank you very much. I'm your host, host Jay Quinzel. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You have to subscribe if you want to win the prize. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And with all that said, when you got to go, you got to go. Catch y'all in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.